And these guys get to play with a bot on a fixed 70, which could be just an utter, utter nightmare here uh, that they'll be competing in. The bot's also first in turn order. Yeah, Jack's top two for sure. So the, the person most excited that Riedel's not here is Jax. He's got a guaranteed uh, spot now. Straight to the final. Pete and Jax both will be your two auto-qualifying finalists. They'll be in the final tomorrow. Yeah, Jax had it anyway. Pete is the one that got the lock uh, by Riedel not showing up. That's correct. All right, so we're in Central America. It's fixed 70 with stable portals. Uh, we've seen bonuses taken in these games. We saw two kills in the last game, but we didn't see kills in the first two groups. Um, very possibly a bot kill is on the table now. And yeah, it's going to be real chaotic. Just a reminder, Noob's currently sitting in 13th overall. Um, so likely, as long as he stays alive, he's through. Everybody else in this lobby probably needs a win to feel good about moving on. Um, I guess Noob and Hudson, as long as they stay alive, they probably are both through. Everybody else may need a win to get through. Yeah. Noob and Hudson just focused on staying alive. And Zango has locked up third place also. So Zango's got to feel good about being in third. The one person that doesn't get... The person that played the best so far that does not get the uh, auto advance to the final. So he's maximizing his time and his, his risk play. Which is just smart. Just That guy just likes to play. Alright, so the bot's first in turn order. Noob is second, and then you've got Horse Boy here in third. Are bonuses even possible with this bot here? Oh, thank goodness your wife got sick, Zingo. Although I'm trying to confirm with Zykron. He said earlier that he can't play in either of the times. Did everyone see that? I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do for that. Okay, so Crackle does decide he's going to take a bonus even with the uh, the bot potentially there to mess it up. Crackle takes the plus three of Louisiana. Ooh, Tally hits a Hudson too. Hudson down to 15 troops before his turn. He's been hit hard here early. He will get uh, the most uh, first round. Oh, is this a big bonus play by Tally? Is he going for the plus six of Canada? He's still got to clean up the islands here. And this. He's got three more territories to take, but it looks like he's playing for a plus six. Yeah, I'd love to see this. I don't know if it's good for his game, but it's great for the entertainment value. Okay, Hudson goes up to 21 troops. He got hit hard early in this game. He has to roll 5 on 2. Okay, he's going to work on Central America. Gets a 6 on 2 uh, to take the Central America bonus. That bonus has proved pretty pivotal uh, in these games so far. That's a plus 3 there in Central America. Yeah, Tally does need a huge game. He needs to win. Really, Crackle, Horus, and Tally all need a win uh, to go through to the quarters. I mean, to go through the semis.
Maybe not if they got the bot bounty uh, plus staying alive points. That might be enough for them. Might be enough specifically for Crackle to get the bot bounty plus some staying alive points. Okay, Noob takes his bonus up there in the northeast. Takes the plus four. So it's a four for Noob, a uh, three for Crackle, and a three for Hudson so far. Nothing for Tally, who's working on a plus six. And Horse Boy is going to take the plus four of Southern U.S. And then it just becomes, can everyone defend from the bot here? You do have stable portals that you're having to guard from. Crackle just fortifying a couple positions. Does he hit the bot one at the bottom? Ooh, Crackle might be pulling a hot buns here. And just going full greed mode. Full greed mode from Crackle. But he rolls out a two uh, to make Tally's Canada play a little easier. All right, so Crackle now with two bonuses. Those are two plus three, so a total of a plus six. But if Tally takes Canada, that's they're equal at plus sixes. Oh, he did. He was trying just to roll out that two, and he ended up winning it. Is that a bad omen? Two v one to three v one for Canada. Oh, Tally does not get the two v one win. Oh, if you if you win a two v one now, you lose the two three v one later. I wouldn't say risk players are superstitious, but they're a little stitious. All right, the bot's getting four, and we're going to find out soon if it's a bonus-breaking bot. It looks like it's more of a bonus-taking bot. Yeah. So the bot's at 24, not bad a troop count for a bot at this point in the game. Noob's in three, four spots on the board, but has the portal, so really three. And yeah, officially goes into a two position play at this point. Horse boy also in a two position play. And Horse Boy's the last chance to break Crackle's two bonuses. It doesn't look like he's going to do it. Crackle kind of calls their bluff and says, you guys won't do it, and they don't. Crackle keeps two bonuses. Yeah, the bot doesn't have a bonus, but the bot's got a bunch of territories. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so currently getting a plus five just off territories right now. Surely the bot's going to get hit a little bit here. Just a reminder, you need 43 territories. That's all but 18 to take the 70% here in Central America. We are in a fixed 70 game here. Yeah, I think Crackle's in a pretty dominant position getting those two bonuses. Now, it's going to be a plus six for Tally here. There's no guarantee that he gets to keep it. I don't think any of the human players will break him. And we don't think it's a bonus breaking bot, so he's probably fine. He probably gets to keep the plus six. Yeah, 15 for the bot. Now it's lower though. Six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So getting four. Yeah.
Yeah, Noob could work on Caribbean, but he's got that four of Tally in there he's got to deal with. And now that's not doable. The bot trades early. Is that a 10 trade for the bot? Yeah, a 10 trade for the bot. Oh, six on three against Tally. It is officially a bonus taking bot, but doesn't fully finish off Mexico. There it goes, okay. Okay, so now the bot's taking the plus five of Mexico. And the Caribbean. Wow. The bot is at a plus nine in bonuses. Tally is in big, big trouble. He's in a one position play in Canada. <laughs> yeah, the bot fist bumps everybody once he takes a second bonus. Says we're all good, right? Does anyone look at that tally kill? The 16 troop tally kill. I think it comes from Crackle. How's he get his 9 up there to help him? He'd have to move it somehow. It wouldn't be this turn. Okay, so yeah, if he has a 10 set, he could do it. Ooh! He can definitely do it now. Yeah, Noob's gonna roll it. That is a tough game for Tally. He goes out first. Uh, he'll just get the two points and he'll be out of the birthday bash open. That was a tough one. Well played by Noob. Noob gets the three points, which could be critical uh, here for Noob. He also gets the additional points of, you know, moving up in placement. And he's kind of right on the edge. So that likely solidifies his spot in the semifinals. He would need a 26-point game to tie Pete, uh, which would mean he'd need the win and four bounties, which would be really, really, really impressive in a 70% game. Noob, basically, just stay alive and you guarantee a spot in the semis. Yeah, someone, someone's going to break the bot, right? Surely. Oh, bad roll for Horse Boy. Yeah, Horse Boy does the dirty work and breaks the bot and breaks Noob. Crackle in a great spot in this game. He didn't get the bounty, but he is in a fantastic position in the game. At some point, he could go for that Hudson kill if Hudson goes to four cards here. It is possible. Does Crackle get through with a bounty and solid placement points? He would get top three placement points, which would be eight. And a bounty, yeah, 46. He would go through with a bounty and third place finish. So is he starting to line up for that? Probably not by doing that. Unless he moves the seven to the left there. It's an interesting play there from Crackle. Makes the Hudson kill tougher, I think. Hudson breaks the Caribbean from the bot. Crackle says thanks. Thanks for giving me another bonus, by the way. The bot's going to retake Mexico.
Noob's got 24% of the board. He's just sitting on 24% of the board. We need 28 more territories. Oh, he breaks Crackle. And Crackle... Oh, he double breaks Crackle. He thinks Crackle was going for it? How does Crackle react? If I know Crackle, Crackle's about to full send into Noob here. Okay, Mexico gets broken again by Horse Boy. Horse Boy doing a lot of dirty work uh, for being one of the lowest in troop count. Crackle gets the 8 trade, but a plus 2. How much of Noob does Crackle hit here? I would guess he gets him to 11 territories. No. He's very cordial about it. Ah, okay. So you think Noob was breaking to keep Hudson from dying to Crackle. The problem with Crackle's play here in South America is he's made this kill of Hudson much tougher. Because this 14 can't get to both sides. Think the bot's gonna die now? He's at 24 still. Bot retakes Mexico. So the bot is not relenting on wanting that Mexico bonus. Noob could kill the bot and maybe chain the 70. That'd be interesting. Well, Noob knows the bot bounty would secure his spot in the semifinals. So if it's there, even if you can't run it. Take your bounty. Yeah. This makes sense based off his positioning. He gets a 100% roll. Yeah. So Noob gets 6 points. And at worst, uh, he would be a 4th place finish here. Which is another 6 points. So he'd be at 12. And he's currently sitting on... Uh, 45 so it puts him at 57 comfortably in for the semifinals now I'm sure he'd love to win if he can somehow work out two more bounties and the win then he would uh, what would he be at 27 points yeah if he got two more bounties and the win he would jump Pete and take that second spot to the finals. Which would be nearly impossible to do, just to be clear. To accomplish that, he would have to allow them to take a lot of his territories back so that he doesn't hit the 70 killing people. Yeah, Noob saying, let's go.
<laughs> Almost simultaneously, Crackle and Hudson say to attack purple. The obvious move here. Nothing is impossible. Agreed. It'd be epic to see Noob get a 27 point game here and a fix 70 to take the second auto qualifier. Yeah, like, Crackle is probably good. So if they split placement points now, you've got eight. They get eight. And that would move Crackle up to 43 points, which puts him right in a tie right now for 14th. So he wouldn't. Hudson would get in off of that, but not Crackle off of placement points. So if someone just runs the 70 here and it's not Hudson or Crackle, Hudson gets in, Crackle doesn't. And I believe that's correct. I'm doing a lot of math on the fly there to figure that out, but I believe that's correct. Yeah. So I think Hudson's basically in. As long as he doesn't actually die here in fourth. As long as he can get at least a split of points or die thir in third, he's in. A lot, lot still hanging here in the balance with just four players playing here in the quarterfinals. Critical one says two bonuses back. Thank you very much. Yeah, horse does need the win plus one. The plus one is going to get harder and harder as long the longer this goes on. Unless you have a failed 70 run. These guys are doing a pretty good job of knocking each other down, though. And making the run tough. Okay, bonus take for Hudson. He wants the Caribbean. Hudson wants the plus three of Central America and the plus four of the Caribbean. It's a plus five of Mexico for Noob here. And Crackle's two bonuses add up to six, and it's just four for Horse Boy right now. What's the chance we see another kill? Troops are pretty even. The horse boy's gonna fall behind fast. Uh, Cause he's just got the plus four. If these other guys get to hold all of this territory in, in bonuses. I see Crackle counting away here. You think Hudson's most likely? Zerka thinks Hudson's most likely. If he gets to hold those two bonuses. No one breaks, you think? Okay, there's another bonus take there for Horse. We get a good game from Noob. Noob saying you didn't hit Crackle, he's going to just run it and win. Let's see. Crackle can come up through here. This is really the only one that's kind of annoying for him to get to. This is all super open to Crackle. He's got an 8. This 14 is really blocked in for Crackle. But he's going to give it a go. Don't roll that. Okay, good. 
He's going to take the Caribbean. Third, 40%. 42%. 44%. 45%. Oh, he does get down to that one. Okay, well played. 50, 54, 59. He uses that portal to jump his 14 through. 67%. Does he get the two on one? No. And he loses in the most pain. Oh, the two on one here. He's got a two on one here. Does he need two more though? This one he could have padded slightly differently here. But maybe he was a troop short on it. Yeah, now Hudson's in trouble because he's lost all his bonuses. Hudson physically doesn't have enough troops to do it. I think he got a break. Oh, Hudson kills Noob. Yeah, Hudson kills Noob. So Noob's going to finish with his... He's fine, though. Noob's fine. Uh, he finishes in th fourth, uh, but he got his two bounties. Hudson now has to feel very confident. I think he's through either way, even if he fails the 70 now. And Crackle will be the odd man out there with the failed 70 run. Crackle really needs to win to have a shot here. Fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-two. That's all he's got left. Horse can't run it either. He's at forty-three. So, do you reestablish bonuses now in a three-player game? Horse to kill Crackle would have to come down through here with his thirteen. In a messy attempt to kill that. The 12 comes up and down to the 3. Oh, we're not going to see it though. Because Crackle's counting. Troop loss. 5 comes up. This comes down and up and around. This 13's got to come down and around. Yeah. 5 on 2. Got it. The 12 pops up and down, he gets Crackle. If Horse Boy can turn that kill... Okay, so that'll end the birthday bash open for Crackle. Well played, sir. Um, Horse Boy, with a win here, though, would jump from out to in. And would knock, it looks like, Tiger out of the tournament. Sixty-two. He's got his four down here. Still got plenty. Yeah, he's got it easily. And that's your win for Horse Boy. He actually ends up with the one and the win that he had to have uh, to get through. So we'll update everything uh, here and make sure we get a final leaderboard for you guys. Semifinals again kick off here in just over an hour. Congrats to Horse Boy on the win.